As promised, one of my favourites. How are you? Good, how are you? In the backyard, and when I think that now we're going to talk about the seventh album, mm. and the first time we were probably in this house visiting was when was we were around playing... around that time. Mm. Mm, of neighbours uh -huh. playing, myself, you playing, Charlene. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think... Locomotion wasn't even released then. You were going to give me a record deal on Neighbours. Well, I t that's Something right. Like that's that, right. Then. Seventh album, that's pretty daunting. Um, and a different album, mm -hmm. again. Yeah. Um, daunting, but very exciting. Yeah. Um, and strangely enough, I only have regular nerves. I mean, people have been saying, aren't you nervous because you've written this time mm. on the album? And I'm not really nervous about that at all, but I have regular excitement, nerves. Can't wait to get it out. Interested to know what people will think of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, tell us a bit about the album. I mean, like, you love going out and challenging yourself these days. Mm -hmm. um, I know, you know the Manic Street Preachers uh, with, uh, with the single, but tell us about the making of this album. Um, and how you come to choose, you know, the different people that worked on it for you. We kind of let a lot of it just develop along the way. And mm. the only thing we really knew initially was that I wanted to write and uh, we thought the best place to start was with Bro Brothers in Rhythm. Right who did confide in me yeah. and other tracks. And um, so I went in with them. I felt very comfortable working with them. And, and we knew we wanted to go through the confide in me door mm -hmm. as opposed to other songs we'd done together. And, uh, and then I was interested in working with other people and Dave Ball was suggested. And I love the work of The Grid and yeah. Cell. So that was, I was very happy to go and meet him and ended up doing quite a few tracks with him. Going back, uh your collaboration with Nick Cave mm. uh, became a major hit, um, award-winning. Um, your decision to do that, I mean, at the time, what were you thinking, you know? Because, I mean, when people said, Kylie and Nick working together, you know? Um, well, I have to admit, I was a bit naive. I didn't know about the legend. Of Nick. The icon of Nick Cave. Right. And now I'm, I'm madly in love with him, just cannot believe my luck that mm. I worked with him. So it kind of helped me that I wasn't so aware, so right. that I wasn't intimidated or nervous or anything. And, I mean, as you said before, I'm, I really like stepping into an unknown area. Territory, so, yeah. And it's so really paid off, excited. though, hasn't it? Mm. I, mean, in, in, I mean, it's all very well. You know, again, you could have been very safe uh, playing Kylie Minogue. Um, the formula was like an amazing success formula. Mm. Uh, and not many tend to look, sort of go away from that. They think, oh no, that's that's too scary. You don't yeah. seem to ever be scared like that, you know? No, I don't think so. No. I mean, it means I have to do a lot of explaining mm. because people, like they, they need to have a reason or an explanation for all the changes and why right. do you keep having image changes and how do you, how do you explain this latest, you know, style of music or whatever. And mm. I mean, I'm constantly baffled that I have to keep finding a way to explain it. To me, it just seems very normal, and I think that's part of the reason that I'm talking to you now and I'm still making records. Is well, that, that right, tell me, what's the title of it now? Kylie Minogue. Right, because originally it was going to be called um, Impossible, Impossible Princess, Princess, Princess yeah. and you changed that because of, of the tragedy of Diana. The irony of it is that, and then, uh, and how many tracks are on the album? Twelve. Twelve tracks. Um, there's one about a cowboy too, isn't there? Cowboy star. Mm. Oh, pretty good, yeah. <laughs> um, but apart from that, I mean, you've also done uh, a cameo role in a uh, film called Diana and Me, um, <laughs> which I saw that bit where you, you're being chased by the paparazzi. I haven't there. seen it. Oh, I think I've got Is it. Is it funny? Somewhere. It's good. It's okay. good. It's good. Um, on your acting side, um, what what do you think? Will, I mean, is there anything in the pipeline? And considering, no. I mean, you started as an actress, you know. Mm, there's nothing, there's nothing definite mm. in the pipeline. I'm put two years into the album, so I'd like to see that through and, and put together a great tour, right. which I think would, would definitely take some time. Um, but having said that, if I got an amazing offer, I would probably, you know, drift yeah. gently towards um, a great acting role for sure. And I'm very keen to do something that I could be proud of mm -hmm. because my recent forays into Hollywood were less than um, fulfilling, so what something, now? I mean, like Delinquents, I, I think, was a great start for mm, me, good, and yeah. had I followed along that path, mm. 
um, I'd probably have more to look back on and see a progression and, and right. hopefully see my work improving. So I almost need to start at the roots mm. again. Here in this country, you're absolutely idolised, you know? And, um, I mean, it's for different reasons. Uh, certainly from, you know, like uh, the dance market, they just mm. absolutely adored you. The gay market, the straight market. Um, do you ever feel like uh, when they say, oh, look, um, maybe Kylie should do a more a dance number, you know? Does that peeve you off or...? Um, no. I think it's great if people can see me doing something different mm. and perhaps they've finally become used to the, the notion that you can do different yeah. things. And I, I realised that you, you can't take away the pigeonhole right. thing that people have to label you as something. Sure. But what I've managed to do is just push my, uh, my walls right. quietly, make them, you know, my space mm. to play in a little bit bigger.